Okay, so who here has seen the movie Brave? Okay, for those of you who haven't seen it, it's this cute little Disney movie about a girl from Scotland with a very defining pastime, archery. And there's this very uh, big moment in the movie where she splits an arrow. So that's what I have here. I'll pass it um, Although archery has made many advances since Meredith's time period, it still proves a challenge to split an arrow even though it's a lot easier to do so. So today I'm going to show you the proper way to shoot a compound bow. Uh, first I'm going to address my clothing. When you're shooting a bow, you want to make sure that you're very unrestricted in dress. So for that, I'm wearing jeans and tennis shoes so that if I drop something, I don't scratch myself. And also a t-shirt because I end up rolling up my sleeves anyways. So. I got my bow when I was 12. Um, I've been shooting ever since. Uh, within weeks, I was able to become as accurate as to split that arrow. Um, and with practice, every single one of you could be able to do that too. And even for those of you who don't like hunting or aren't comfortable with the whole killing animals aspect, there's still foam targets. And um, But whichever form you choose, uh, the proper safety form and aim are important components in shooting bow. But before you begin to use any kind of weapon, you should be aware of the appropriate safety measures. You never let an arrow go astray. So that's why I'm facing towards this wall, is because even if I don't have a target, I want to make sure that if I miss where I'm shooting, it won't go into other range of activities such as children playing. So you want to make sure that, uh, well, the thing about it though is that it's different from other firearms in that, like guns, in that it doesn't randomly fire. It's all very intentional. So you don't pull back unless you're ready to shoot. Um, even if you're shooting safely, you never hit your target if you aren't in the proper form. So first we're going to start with hands. Your left hand is going to be gripping the bow. You don't want to be in a death grip, but it's got to be firm. The right hand is going to be equipped with the trigger. This is the little claw that'll hook onto the loop here. And your right index finger will be the one releasing it so that the arrow will fly. Next is elbows. Your left arm will be extended forward, but your elbow is going to be slightly bent. Otherwise, the string will snap your arm and cause your arrow to fly off course. Also, it'll hurt. Your right arm will be the one pulling back. And you don't do that after you have knocked your arrow. So you put it in the whiskers and clip it on like that. Next is legs. Um, it's kind of like baseball in that you put your un undominant side towards your target. So you go like that, and you have to make sure you're not slouching. Once you're standing correctly, you'll be ready to adjust your aim. So aim is very circumstantial based on your surroundings. There's a little level in here. So if you're on, on uneven ground, this little water bubble will show you which way, or if your bow is perpendicular to where you're wanting to shoot. Next is distance. Um, there's these colored pens in here show you this way, that are in 10 yard increments. The top one is 10 yards, the bottom one is 40 yards. So if your target is, we'll say that's 10 yards away, you'd be using your top one. The reason they do that is because the farther away from your target you are, the more gravity will pull your arrow off course. So the farther away you are, the higher you're going to have to aim. So you'd put the light of the pin on the target. So if I'm shooting that little metal box, I put the green pin on the little dot there. Next is wind. Right now we're kind of in a tunnel, so there's not really any wind coming at us, but the farther away you are from your target, the more wind is going to affect your aim. So it's kind of like on Wii Resort, where it says 12 miles that way. So you're going to aim into the direction of the wind so that your arrow will go where you want it to. After you've done this, you will hold perfectly still and pull the trigger. So, knock your arrow, go like this, and pull back. Right now I don't have an arrow tip in, so it kind of fell out there. But um, hopefully you'll be able to hit your target. So, in conclusion, to safely shoot a bow, you'll need to know the proper safety measures, have the proper form, and shoot accurately with the proper aim. And soon enough, everyone will be splitting arrows like Merida. Thank you.